Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a weekly reading vlog and it's going to be kind of all over the place because I had COVID. So some of the clips that I showed at the beginning are just from when I've been reading and I wasn't really in the mood to like vlog. So I just recorded some like b-roll footage of me like reading and stuff like that. So that's why this video is gonna be kind of all over the place. Yeah, I had COVID. I'm still kind of recovering. I tested yesterday and I was still positive, but I don't really feel that sick anymore or anything. I just have some like lingering symptoms, but the worst symptoms are over, thank God. But um, yeah, so I've just been reading, relaxing, watching shows and stuff like that so i do have some reading updates i did originally set like a tbr and i only read one book from that little tbr so far so the first book that i read was a diary of blood by st gibson this is a lyrical and gothic retelling of dracula's brides and i really enjoyed this one i gave it four stars it went by super fast because it has less than 300 pages and the words on the page are pretty big and there's some pages that are like blank so this went by super fast i read it in like two sittings i think and i really enjoyed it the writing in this one was beautiful like the one thing that stood out to me from this one was the writing like there were so many passages that i highlighted as you can see from all the tabs that i have there were just so many passages and so many quotes that really stood out to me and they were really beautiful and I just had to highlight them. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one and I gave it four stars and then after that I decided to semi-impulsively start a reread of the Percy Jackson series. So I obviously started with the first book which is The Lightning Thief. These tabs are from my first reread this series is so 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 good i love this world and all of these characters so much like they mean so much to me and this series just holds such a special place in my heart i read it for the first time in 2020 and i just have been in love with it ever since like all of these characters i just love so much and all the crazy adventures that they go on is just just amazing so I read The Lightning Thief and then I read The Sea of Monsters which is the second book and oh, this book is crazy I didn't remember just how crazy this book was until I reread it and this one was insane like when they go into the sea of monsters that whole thing was so crazy but um yeah I obviously gave Lightning Thief five stars and this one I also gave five stars and then I started reading The Titan's Curse. Well, I finished reading The Titan's Curse and this one also five stars. Like this entire series is a five star for me. And yeah, I just love this series so much. Okay, I apologize for the change in quality. I have to use my front camera on my phone because my back camera is acting up for some reason. So I read the first three books. And then I started reading this one, which is the, the fourth book, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and I think I was just a little bit burnt out from reading so many of these books just like back to back to back. Like I was binging these, and I think I just kind of got a little bit tired from just binging this series because I was finishing books in like, I was finishing like two books in one day. So I got a little bit tired <laughs> of binging this series, but I will get to it eventually because I just love these books so much. I will revisit this one at some point but I do have some other books that I want to focus on so I really want to read Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Johnny's Son. I keep putting off reading this. I don't know why because I think I'm really gonna enjoy it but for some reason I just keep putting it off and um I don't know why so I am going to read this one this weekend, and then I also have Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. This is the same author that wrote The Atlas Six, which is also on my TBR, but I haven't been in like the fantasy mood recently, so 
I think I'm gonna start with this one when it comes to this author and I've heard really good things about it and it just seems like it's gonna be just like a beautiful love story. I've seen so many beautiful quotes so I'm really excited to get to this one. And then I also have Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman. This is a novella in like the Heartstopper universe so I really want to get to this one this weekend because I just love Nick and Charlie so so much so I just want to read more of them because I can't get enough of them and their relationship and just everything like they are so wholesome and they're just like the best the best fictional couple ever I just love them so much so I want to read this one so these are the books on my TBR for this weekend I'm gonna try my best to get to all of them but I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself because I've been doing a lot of reading this whole week so yeah I'm gonna read these this weekend hopefully and then I also have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black which I did start reading and I made it up to page 35 but I've tried reading this book two times well this is the second time I'm trying to read it and I just can't really get into it for some reason I don't know what it is but there's just something about this series that isn't really gripping me like I've seen so many quotes and fan art and everything I feel like I would love this series but I just haven't been able to get into it for some reason I think I'm just not in the fantasy mood but I do really want to try reading this series again at some point yeah I'm really excited about all of these books so I will check back in once I have some updates
to my bookshelves as you can probably see in the back. I'm really happy with how they turned out. I love that I finally have a shelf with all of my favorite books so if I ever want to reread something I can just go to my favorites shelf and just pick out one of those books but um yeah I really love how they turned out. I think they look a lot better than they did before but yeah I don't know I really love how they turned out. But, um, yeah so last night I read Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Johnny Sun. I love this book so much. Like I can see why Books with Chloe and like everyone that's read this loves it so much because it's just such a nice, cute, and comforting book. Like there's no other way to describe it other than it's comforting. Like this book is just just so sweet and so like oh yeah, also it's raining right now so if you hear thunder and rain it's pouring right now but um yeah so i just love this so much i highlighted and tabbed so many of my favorite moments that i want to go back to and it was just so beautiful and it really made me think like there are some um passages not passages there are some pages where i wrote like a little sticky note with um, mixed up my thoughts on that and how I related to certain quotes and stuff and I just oh, I love this so so much the drawings are so cute and just it's so surprisingly profound and like inspirational kind of and just so comforting like I don't know how else to describe it other than it's just comforting like I felt like I was being validated and comforted and it just felt so just so beautiful like I loved it so much like so many so many beautiful lines the first one that really stood out to me it's close to the, the beginning it says everyone tells me I am too small and too slow to make a difference in this world but I am making a difference in my own world and I hope that is enough another one that I really liked was you may be sad because you are sad it is okay to be sad but if you are sad because happiness is fleeting just remember the has that sadness is also pleading too. When you are sad, it is okay to let yourself be sad. That is okay. Like, just so many beautiful little sentences like that. Oh, another one that I really loved. When two aliens find each other in a strange place, it feels a little more like home. I love this so much. I can't wait to reread it. Like, I just feel like this is definitely going to be one of those books that I go back to when I want to just feel comforted and I just want to laugh like I laughed so many times at this because there were just so many like so many silly little things happening as I was reading I was sending pictures of the, some of the pages to my boyfriend and he was saying that he kind of wanted to read it too because he really thought the drawing was like super cute when I first said I first showed it to him and he thought that the alien was super cute and he said that he wanted to read it so I got him his own copy so hopefully this will be the first book that he reads for the first time in like forever because he hasn't been reading like the same way that I have but yeah besides that's besides the point but um yeah I'm gonna be giving this book to literally everybody that I know because everybody needs to read this it's so it's just so good I love it so so much I'm gonna stop talking about this book because I'm just gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over again but I love this book so much you need to read it it's so so good like if you just want a cute quick little read or if you just want something to make you feel comforted and seen and validated then definitely check out this book so i just finished reading nick and charlie by alice oseman and i really enjoyed this one I just love Nick and Charlie so much, like they just have such a beautiful relationship and in all of the graphic novels you can see just how strong their relationship is and all of the hardships that they go through but they still come out of it stronger than before and I just think that that's a testament to a beautiful, healthy, and strong relationship because they're with each other through all of the hardships. You can really see in this novella just 
how attached Nick and Charlie are. Some may say in a unhealthy way because they do see each other like every single day. And some, may pe some people may think that that's not very healthy and you kind of see how much Charlie really loves Nick and how much he doesn't want him to go to college and he starts kind of bubbling up all this anger inside of him and how much he kind of not resents Nick for leaving him and going to college but he does kind of start to resent him a little bit because he feels like he's being left behind and that Nick is so excited to go to university because he keeps talking about how excited he is to have his own place and move somewhere else and you can see how Charlie is not as excited about that. All those emotions keep bubbling up inside of Charlie and at one point he lashes out at Nick and they get into a really bad argument and they just say some really mean things to each other and that really broke my heart because they never really talked like this to each other before like they were saying some really mean things and it was just heartbreaking seeing how you can get attached to someone to a point where you're so attached to them that's kind of unhealthy and you start to resent them for wanting to live their own life and explore new places and go to college in a different city or whatever this is a really well done novella and i think it really showed all of those emotions and the cycle of emotions that charlie was going through and the conclusion and everything i think it was done really well like it felt very realistic to how teenagers would react in a situation like that like it just felt very authentic and alice Osman is really good at writing like authentic teenage characters like they just do it really well so yeah i really enjoyed this novella i gave it four stars and i just i just love nick and charlie so much like they are probably one of my top like comfort couples comfort characters